Hello, in this video we're going to take a perfect complement's utility function and from it we're going to derive the compensated demand functions for good x and good y. So utility is the minimum of x and y. x is units of good x, y is units of good y. The consumer has income m and the consumer faces the price of good x of p subscript x and the price of good y is p subscript y. So this is a consumer's budget constraint. And in equilibrium, the consumer will consume an equal proportion of x and y such that x will equal y given this utility function. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take our budget constraint and where I see y, I will substitute in x. After all, x equals y. So making that substitution, I'm going to solve this for x. And just factoring out x on the right-hand side and dividing through by the sum of the prices, we have the demand for good x. We're going to get the demand for good y. We're going to take the consumer's budget constraint and where we see an x, we're now going to substitute in a y. So we have this result. Solving for y, we get the demand for good y. Now we're going to get the indirect utility function. I'm going to call that v. v is going to be the minimum of x and y, where x we're going to just substitute in the demand for good x, and for y I'm going to substitute in the demand for good y. And so the minimum of what we have here in parentheses is just given by income divided by the price of good x plus the price of good y. We're going to solve this for m, and that will give us our expenditure function. So solving for m, we get our expenditure function, and we're almost there. We're going to get the compensated demand for good x by taking the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good x. And here we just get back a constant, v. So the compensated demand for good x is just a vertical curve. Likewise, a compensated demand for good y, we take the partial derivative of the expenditure function with, the, with respect to the price of good y, and we get back a constant. So here, too, the compensated demand for good Y will just be a vertical curve. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.